Hi there. What I have here in my data set are two different kinds of buffers. I've got a rivers buffer, which is 200 meters around rivers. Let me turn on my rivers so you can see this. Okay. And I also have a roads buffer. So that is 100 meters around roads. So I've got two different kinds of buffers, and it's actually overlaid on a hill shade. So I'll turn that off so you can see them. I need to merge these. I need to combine these into one layer. So I'm going to look for an intersect command or tool, and there it is, my intersect tool. Intersect allows me to com combine everywhere that's close to rivers and everywhere that's close to roads. So in my case here, my input features are the 100 meter roads buffers and the 200 meter hydro buffers. And I'm going to call it, and I'm going to put it in a shape file, roads hydro intersect. Okay, dot shape. Notice that's going into the same folder where all my other data went. Now, how does it do that? In my geoprocessing environments workspace, I've set the folder to this folder right here. That way I'm not creating data all over my computer and then it's difficult for me to remember where it all is stored. So make life easier for yourself and use that environments variable workspace and set it. Okay, great. I'm going to say okay here and it's going to run that intersect command for me and let's take a look at the results when it's done. When it's done, after this dialog at the bottom shows up, let's go ahead and actually just check on it look at results here. It's running the intersect command right now. So under geoprocessing results, I can actually see the progress. Open this up. It looks like it ran. My output feature class is right there. So I'm going to get rid of the results here. And let's take a look at my intersect. I'm going to change the symbology here so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to change it to this sort of hatch pattern. So it'll stand out quite well. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that so we can see a little bit of what we're dealing with. How about right in here? So in this case, I had my original hydro, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and unselect, okay, I'm going to clear selection. There's my hydro. Same with roads, I'm going to clear selection so you can see my roads a little bit better so they're not yellow highlight. So there's my original hydro and original roads. Then I buffered them, right? So my hydro buffers are here, my roads buffers are here. Now, I could have dissolved the polygons between them, but I didn't need to in this case. But you could do that. Then I intersected them, right? And there's my intersect. Let's go ahead and turn off the original lines. So you can see that this, this uh, orange hatch sort of pattern shows me everywhere I've got land that's close to roads and close to rivers. So that is the intersect command. Let's go ahead and zoom to the layer. By the way, you can hit the escape key while things are drawing, and that way you can turn off layers if you want to. So that's the result. Wonderful.